I might just play the RVR just because we just to do something with it, I guess. So I guess we'll start with Forest just to show off a little bit of RVR. So I think I think if I switch to Yellow ID here, we could get some pretty solid items for Endless Nightmare One. Then I have to double check the others. So let's just do RBR and into like one last CTF or something. Yeah, remember Yellow ID being pretty solid here? Just because of the fact that you could get Red Hand Gun and Gito and everything else. Oh, that poor Humar. Chat, shed, shed the single tear, unloved. <laughs> he, he's been at 118 for like two years, Chad. It is so sad. I just realized I don't really want to level him. Don't feel like he was worth the investment. Maybe one day. He's not even like a good ID for bosses. So he can't even boss rush. He's just literally useless. I would I don't want to do endless with him for sure. Okay. So I'm going to make it in normal mode. Yeah, it's just like it's such a bad ID for him is the problem. I and I can't switch his ID, I don't think. Cuz I did get a free reset. I don't remember if I used it. It might it's possible I haven't used it on him yet. Yeah, he, he needs to be something other than yellow ID. I'm not doing like mine hunts with Humar. I'm sorry, I don't want that. So maybe I could make him in theory like white ID or something. So that he would have more utility. I'm not gonna do surface with him for sure. Slash crater in episode four. I think he's okay at like jungle. So he can have like a mix of like early, he could do like maybe CCA and like boss rushes, but I that's about it. I don't want him to do anything else. I don't want to do like tower, seabed, any episode four. Like no thank you. So anybody looking to hop in? We got some free slots. I'm just double checking one thing before we proceed. Sweep up Operation 7 has... an okay amount of Gibbons? Is that what they were running when they got the... They just got old Gibbon by accident? So I, I guess they were running purple ID RBR, maybe. I mean, I guess we could do just because. Oh, no takers from the chat. This character is loaded, chat. Listen. <laughs> he, he does not care about this quest. He will delete this quest. Yeah, Dango's coming in. I think Dango's taking a short break. But battery says a general for level one Romar. No, we'll do. We'll do a little bit of RBR. And if we got some time after that, if you're still around remote battery, I'll help you on one of your characters. We'll do like a quest or two together. On very hard. I mean I could power level your level one. Like, you made that face, but honestly, in like 30 minutes, we could get you to level 20. <laughs> it Think about what character you want to have boosted. Just think about it. We'll do a little mini boost for sticking around. Uh, let me think. Endless Nightmare 1 is here. These quests should not take very long. The one that I'm worried about is uh, Episode 4. Could potentially be very long. So yep, yeah, think about it. We'll do like a couple quests. I'm expecting this shouldn't take more than 40 minutes, and I'll just go for like another 40 on top of that. I think that's okay. As long as it's for like the chat or something, I'm okay with it. Otherwise, like I definitely don't want to do any more TTF or RT. I would rather help other players than do another one of those at the moment. I played a lot of it off stream earlier today, so I'm not really feeling it per se. Yeah, this is one of those quests where the... I feel like... If they only added, like, one more enemy per certain waves, I would have liked this quest a lot more. So 
do. It starts off pretty slow, but eventually it turns into uh, an okay room clear at the end. Where basically it's oops all tallow. Which is fine, because that's where you get Ajitos. So for people looking for Ajitos, this is one of the example quests you can use. Is it actually more efficient to bring Vulcan out because there's so few enemies? It's kind of insane to me. Yeah, it's more efficient. Mind blowing. Yeah, the charge arm would have been slower there because I would have hit uh, Dango's target. This is a perfect example of a quest I probably should have used Anguish on, to be real with you. So yeah, we'll do that into the, like the, the temple or whatever. No problems with Parameter. I want you to feel forced to fill a slot. Should have fun, relax. Get revenge on Fire Emblem RNG. Not too late. Get rid of these. Oh, if I had lined up properly, I could have actually killed both in one combo. That would have been efficient. Let's do this. Yeah, hit like two targets there. See, so yeah, it seems like Vulcan's just better here, which is weird to say that Vulcan is the crowd clear preference versus like mini boss killer. Like another room example where charge arm would not have necessarily killed. Oh, they got deleted, like for, for real deleted. The downside with forest is there's nothing really worth trapping. Like, they're just gonna die anyway, like, who cares? So maybe I'll switch into Raw Moral for the next one. Showcase another purple hunt, I guess. Might as well see if we could get the uh, Vice with 60 hit that we saw earlier. So purple ID, for example, in CCA gets a lot of really solid items, which I didn't think we talked about earlier. So you could get things like V501 from the Sinnohs, you can get uh, Heavenly Abilities from Gibbles, potentially Dress Plates. Their tower is phenomenal. I think it's only really beaten by White ID. It's got a, it's pretty much like back-to-back -back Ubers and like good items. White ID, I think, has a slightly better spread of items for tower. But man, oh man. It getting V502 is very silly. I guess I'll shotgun the boxes, because I got nothing better to do. Yeah, so it starts off pretty slow, but at least when we get to the next room, it should pick up a little bit. Then it feels more like a real quest. I'm surprised this quest came up again. I thought they couldn't enter rotation again. Like, literally, this was one of the quests we did in the Easter event, and I'm like, I know there's a lot of Episode 1 quests. I'm a little surprised to see it repeating again already. Rid of you. Yeah, this next room should be where the oops all tallows begin. So we might be able to get a red handgun with machine percentage. So we do not care about the hit percentage on it. Get rid of these. What is the ideal hit percentage for what character and what weapon? I mean, the answer if you're a Ramar is Teehee, I don't need hit percentage. They could get away with like almost all zeros and all their core gear, to be honest with you. Oh wait, that's not the quest I was thinking it was. Never mind. Slightly different quest. <laughs> 100 hit, true. I mean, the way I view it, Ramar can get away with basically literally min hit on everything and be completely fine if not zeroed. Yeah, I don't have like a formal list. My my rule of thumb is, if you're playing multiplayer, compare everything to Ramar and then subtract that number. So for example, if I want a 100% hit the worm boss, I need a five hit cannon rouge. Other characters, depending on how far off they are, will probably need like 30 hit to always land heavy attack. So I, I just work backwards from Ramar. Yeah. You're basing it off the lowest ATA classes. Yeah, you can work that way too. <clears throat> Ideally, you just want to hit so that you have 100% hit on your special. 
as often as possible. Unless the weapon doesn't special, then, you know, that's whatever. I might have been confusing it with sweep up operation. I think we have done this one before, but it's not the one I was thinking of. The other one ends with like, oops, all tallow, but this was not oops, all tallow. So like, for example, with Heaven Striker, in solo play, I think you also only really need a 15 hit for falls to always land special in multiplayer, but in single player, you don't even need it. It can literally be zero, and you're fine with Ramar. Ramar's kind of unfair, chat if you didn't figure that out. Ramar doesn't care about weapon stats. They're like, oh, I have the weapon? Good enough. <laughs> I am the victor. Yeah, so it looks like, for example, for the Q cast, I would want to find a 60 hit Vulcan, because that's just the cutoff I've noticed, where even with uh, good boosts, I'm not quite hitting all the time. Yeah, Ramar wants attribute not hit, that's a good point. Rare Raffi? What? What are you doing here? We're doing like a random run, why are you here? I'm gonna delete you. <laughs> just... Okay, I don't even remember if it... It probably doesn't drop anything good. Palrappy is one of those ones where it's just... It just has really bad drops start to finish, to be honest with you. I'm usually not excited for it. It's like, oh boy, I could get Angel Harp. Just kind of shrug. Oh, walk away, Dango. We'll shoot him. Walk away, Dango. <laughs> there we go. Like, hero ability, like, that's it. Zero, zero out of ten drop for that one. That, that'll go, that'll go to the new players. I don't even want it. <laughs> We'd like to call that not worth. We do a bit of trolling, yeah, something like that. Yeah, big LOL on that one. That one was not worth it. But you see what I mean, though? Palrappy drops are just terrible. You can't tell me otherwise. They're, they're just actually genuinely disappointing. Like, I'm so much more excited for Tello in most runs than I am for them. And they're the rare enemy. Like, they should have something amazing. Especially when you compare it to, like, the excitement of a Hildator in most runs, comparatively. It's like every drop Hildator has, 10 out of 10. Pal Rappy, zero out of ten. I think they even have worse overall drops than Episode One Lilies, where Episode One Lily is Heavenly Power, Psycho Wand, nothing else. What are all these weird switches? I mean, I hit the switch. Did chat flip the other laser barrier is the question. So I could go back that way. I think it was hit, right? I can't quite see from the angle I'm at. Maybe? I hope chat hit that. I'm going to be very sad. Okay. So I'm going to assume it is hit. I'm going to go ahead and hit the switch now. And hopefully that'll be what we need. Silly hero ability. You know what the sad part about hero ability is? If you just do 1k gambles, you can just get god ability. That hero ability should have been god ability. I'm just saying, chat. I still wouldn't have liked it, but it would have been better. I don't think hero ability has a place in ultimate, I'll be real with you. That should be like a very hard mode item only. Maybe hard mode and uber rares. Just one of those silly drops.
Yeah, Dango, I would take, especially if you have the item reader equivalency, I would take a look to see, you know, what, how far off are you from landing your third hit of a special? Oh no, there's a switch here. Camera, camera disabled, oh no. I'm glad I stepped on that, that would have been horrible. Yeah, I think Endless Nightmare 4 is. I guess all the Endless Nightmares have that, because I remember that was in 4. But I almost never do the underground portion of Endless Nightmare 4, I just do the first floor. Which I actually like a lot. I like the layout of like the healing circles for new players. Like I still clipped him with that shot. Hello Bomberman sound effects. There we go. Now we're getting like a more reasonable pace of enemies. Do a quick little check down here. Oh. There's no enemies that spawn down here? That's disappointing. Trolls ego, you are not. Yeah, combo calculator is pretty good that for that for Humar. But honestly, it's like I feel with Ramar the answer is you need almost zero, and then if you're in multiplayer, add ten. Subtract subtract backwards from Humar or from Ramar's ATA, and that'll answer you how much your hit should be at minimum. If ice isn't good enough to hit H SS falls, that's kind of disgusting. I wouldn't want him to be able to do that. But I think him at least maybe being able to land the third special consistently is kind of nice. I'm doing okay damage here. That quest was okay. Yeah, my bad. I thought it was, uh, I think, I think I was confusing it with Sweep Up Operation 1. And again, there's so many quests with similar names that it's like, they blur after a while on top of the play style with it. Oh, only 8,000? Oof. That is, a, that is a big oof moment with the uh, reward. So yeah, it was okay. But nothing, nothing I would run seriously. And again, we have found some pretty crazy quests in RBR, so sometimes it is worth revisiting those. So we're... Yeah, chat will have to let me know. If, there, if, if Penumbral Surge comes back, chat, and RBR... We'll do a bonus stream that week, how's that? I'm gonna briefly pause the music. Just to make sure it doesn't turn off on me. It's like, what weapons did she bring? Yes. It's jungle. I guess that makes sense. I didn't see a lot of gibbles. Ha, you won't bait me this time, doors in episode two. Probably should have brought hell, but that's fun. We'll get to experience it from the ATP roll. We'll let uh, the force me get spam.
I'm gonna say, you thought I didn't see you? You better teleport away. I'm gonna do like 1300 to you every time you move. Uh, I remember this spawn. This spawn sucks. I think I could attack it with Rivarda if I get closer. Ooh, not close enough. That's fine. It can angry slash me all at once, as long as it's not using it since the death. That's all I care about. I mean, if my targets get frozen, I just spam Heaven Striker. There's the Gibbles. <laughs> it would be funny if we got a Heavenly ability, I'm not gonna lie. If Gibbles just straight up dropped it... Get out of here. I, I almost thought that happened. I got baited by that rare sound, so bad. I'm gonna debuff them so I don't take max up damage here. Don't mind me, just do an oops all special attack. Thank you, Red Ring, by the way. That feeling when you can heavy special special every target here. That's the power of Ranger, when you no longer care. Ooh, a Gaigui. Didn't notice you on the list. <laughs> Someone dropped their hero ability, that's so sad. Fine, I'll go pick it up. Oh, I don't think I put it away. I don't think I put the other one away. We'll give that away to new players. It's technically better than nothing. Yeah, most of the jungle's like you going through the middle route and kind of coming back through here. I wouldn't be surprised if it tried miracling me when I destroyed these or something. Hmm, these guys are kind of hard to land this special without freeze. That's fair. So for those enemies, for example, I'm playing with a zeroed Heaven Striker. So I would say in order to hit them accurately, I probably just want a 15 hit Heaven Striker. Everything else I'm able to heavy special special except for them so far. So that would be like my personal assessment as I go through. Realistically, I probably only need it to be 10 hit with how the combos work, but it doesn't hurt to get bonus. Plus, I don't want to accidentally, like, low roll it, since if the minimum is 5, if you roll it upwards, it should be 15. Uh, that's actually kind of a problem. You might actually kill me. There we go. Yeah, so I have just enough accuracy with the 50 hit on this to hit the targets. If I do if I do something like this, it should be fun. Come on, there we go. I'm going to let the auto-targeting of it work for, in my favor. And again, both of those enemies, mostly able to combo. How dare you take my weapon away. Yeah, with these enemies, I'm kind of prioritizing single burst over AoE. They're very annoying when they teleport around. But so far, this quest is fine. With just three people, XP is actually decent with the uh, RBR boost. Like, 126 XP a second is pretty good. So, like, if I wanted to farm Episode 2, I guess I'll put this on... Maybe I should make a list of quests I don't hate <laughs> in Episode 2. It'll be a small list, I promise. But so far, this, this quest is fine. I mean, it has, like, the somewhat annoying Miracle spawn that I'm not a fan of, but it's not, like, a deal-breaker. You at least have counterplay over it compared to other spawns. Ooh, that freeze was so good. Ooh, that enabled such a good combo kill. Wow, I was gonna say, I did a little bit of damage and then Dango went, be gone, and then goodbye.
Grant's level 21? I guess I could take that. Dango employed the Weed Whacker. It was super effective. Ericus, get out of here. Murphy took it for the team on that one to stop the insta kill from occurring. Respect to Murphy on that one. Yeah, even though we're backtracking, like it, it puts spawns on the way back despite it backtracking. I think it's a good sign. Ooh, this is a great room. Ooh, look how many potential kills there are. A vice did drop, but sadly without any hit percentage. So sad. <laughs> both, both of us disappointed we don't have the 60 hit vice. <laughs> Just like, darn. Yeah, I could see myself doing this. I don't know if I'd run it for, like, pink ID, because I think, uh... Phantasmal World 2 is really broken with it. But I think from like an RBR perspective, this quest is fine. So with just three people, we're getting still above 120 XP a second, which is really, really solid, as I said before. So it just means like it's a good combination of XP and enemy density. Team here, clear out a couple targets. Oh, the Sinnoh is so annoying to deal with. It looks like we'll come back this way eventually. Oh, I don't I don't like these boxes in here. I feel like I'm about to get miracle like super super hard. Yeah, Phantasmal Search quests are really good. Minus that last one. <laughs> oh my god, the Steven one was horrible. I, I don't apologize for that. They should apologize to us for that. That quest was terrible. That was like comically terrible how many Dwarfons there were in hallways. It's like, oh, did you go in a hallway? Oops, Dwarfon. <laughs> or Delveter, excuse me. I mean, it might as well as be Dwarfon, to be real with you. I guess they took inspiration from episode 4. Okay, so then we open up the other door, correct? Ooh, double gibbles. So again, this is another chance that things like... Uh, what's it called? Heavenly ability. Let's get some vices. Maybe some V501s. Which again are pretty solid units for beginner players. Revive Dango. Damage them so they're a little further away from Dango. So yeah, I can see with like a four-man team, we can easily squeeze out like another 10 XP a second. Oh god, I'm by myself versus Miracle. Oh boy, I'm so screwed. Or not, I got the loop. Never mind, we're good. Loop attained. Team help finished that last one. Teleports are so awful. At least I could shoot the other ones while I'm waiting for this thing to stop wasting my time. The only thing I didn't bring was cannon or er, frozen shooter. I'm disappointed in myself, it's not in my inventory. Chat was curious why I'm not using it. I saw it and I'm like, oh, I got every item. And then I realized Romarl hasn't used it in a while. Okay. So where does it want us to go? We go to the right. Yes. I always dislike episode two for its confusing paths. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I remember there being a log here, and that's only from memory of doing quests like these before. I've probably done this one before. What quest is this right now? Sweep up Operation 7. Which I think so far is fine. So if you want to play, if you want to play it, maybe we'll write this down. 
<laughs> It'll be Ziggy's list of quests he would actually play. And we'll put this under... I don't mind it in RBR. I think it's a good RBR quest. It's not like the best at any one particular thing for hunting. But if you just want to get XP and get used to this area, it's pretty good. Am I going to use it for Excalibur? Probably not. But as we saw earlier, people are using it for Vice. Now, I don't mind getting V501s from this for sure. It saves me some money later. I gotta be careful there because they could spawn and strike me like that. Yeah, see, this enemy, I can't even land specials on them unless they're frozen. That's all given evasions too high. I don't know how much I would need for them. Maybe I need more, like 25 plus. So we found the namesake of the run, which is the vice. Which again, with drop rate up and rare rate and everything else, it's pretty solid. Ooh, I got clipped by Rufoe. That was so sad. Thank you for the revive. The only thing that will kill me consistently. These enemies are otherwise not getting close to me. So yeah, I could especially with Hell, if I had brought Hell here, that would have been huge. Perfect. There is a there are a lot of enemies at the end. I'll change the music in a moment. Sounds like it just ended. You can see the power of being able to just switch between crowd control and everything else. Or if you're going in with the, uh, ooh, Miracle. Where's Miracle? Perish, please. Thank you. <laughs> Would you kindly? Don't you dare hit me with that Rafoe. That'll instantly kill me. That felt like a final wave, yet the door isn't open. Give me one second. So we clear Bomberman 5, so let's move to Bomberman R. I think I'm ready to do as much auto damage as we can, full screen. So even though I didn't do anything right away, at least I could say I put in the work there. So yeah, 130 XP a second, then a, then a not, not horribly long walk back to the work. I think that's okay. Yeah, the quest was fine. So I guess we'll, we'll start making some notes. Hold on, quest that I like. <laughs> Where is it at? Give me one second. We're gonna officially write this quest down. For RBR, that is. RBR, episode two, sweep up operation seven. There we go. It has officially been written down as a quest I would do in the future. Because I'm not going to remember the name of this quest later. I'll see that it has episode two in it and then feel sick, but it's fine. Jung jungle is fine. I, d I don't mind doing jungle. It just depends on what they do in jungle. And I don't think there was anything egregious in there. I don't like that initial spawn, but if that's like the only downside, that's not going to stop me from running the quest. Okay. So up next is... Sweep up Operation 14, which has a million Gorons. Do I bring Slicer Fanatic? Maybe? Hmm. Just seeing if there's anything else worth running. <laughs> Pioneer parts. There's only 32 Pyrogorons. There's 
an okay amount of zoos. I guess I'll bring in a white ID character? Maybe? Just thinking who I should actually genuinely bring into the quest. I mean, I should probably bring damage, though. I feel bad if I brought in my white ranger. I, in theory, could bring in my white force. Hmm. So I'm just double checking if there's another good option for this. And it should be white ID. Hmm. Or purple ID is Yashminikov. Actually, I'll just stick to this character then. Never mind. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. I do want Yashminikov, actually. I am not gonna say no to those. I've been all zeroed one. It would be a very easy upgrade if we received it. But I think I need to bring Frozen Shooter. Let me go grab that. Then after this, we'll see uh, if any assistance is needed and very hard. And that'll be the end of the stream after that. Let's bring in our Frozen Shooter, which should be in here. Ooh, 20 hit. I don't think that's necessary. I mean, it's needed for Seabed, but everything else is quite something. Hmm. And I got Bringer's Rifle for the poor, poor thing. One second, sure thing. Planet Techno... Technoopolis? It's quite a name of a song. Okay. I don't see anybody else joining, so I think I'll move forward. So it's the final sweep-up operation. Yeah, we got basically everything we could ever need in any situation here, including an old zeroed Yashminikov, which I would love to have upgraded, because that's free damage. I guess... I could bring in something to deal with blizzards, but I'm gonna let Dango handle most of those. It's Stardust in here, interesting. I got hit by the fireball, that's so sad. Team, please. How did that not hit the zoo? There we go. That'll work. Yeah, I can get around them, and I can play without a melee weapon here, but I can't do that on this area. Let's use Yashminikov to show you its power by just deleting that enemy full screen. Oh, Yashminikov, you're so unfair. If I see a random melee weapon, I don't even think it's worth me picking up. It has to be basically Galatine or Excalibur, which I could always go back for, maybe. Uh, actually, I want to last swan this. I mean, you can teleport into me all you want. I don't think that really interrupts my game plan at all. Technically, if I'm really desperate, I could just Rafoe. You can see there I'm doing a lot of last swan damage on the lizard. So I can take advantage of the fact that they take a while to turn around. The sad part is, on this narrow passageway, it is very annoying for me to deal with them. So I'm going to believe in you, Dango. I keep getting hit by the fireball thing. Let me move. So not my favorite room of episode 4. I'm, I'm never a big fan of the narrow paths. Sniped by the zoo. That's so sad. Come on, you want me to kill you so bad? Goodbye. Let's try to help Murphy out a little. Like how they're trying to teleport to punish me for using ranged weapons here. But I'm like, spoiler, Ranger doesn't care. 
<laughs> Your anti-ranger tech does not affect me. I do not care. I have red ring. Therefore, I no longer care. Gurdabulu. I got bad news for you, Gurdabulu. I got demons. Oh, look at that HP. Goodbye. I'm gonna be careful here. I think I need one heal. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, that should be fun. <laughs> yeah, like, see, that satellite lizard didn't have immunity to me, which was kind of nice. The downside is eventually we're all gonna face the same direction. So what I need to do is just get behind them and do this. But the downside is the room is moving. These are two very annoying rooms to deal with, though, I'm not gonna lie. It's between the narrow corridor and uh, now the force movement, it is very hard to maintain distance behind them. So our goals are not to focus those enemies. Our goals are to kill the Gorons, hopefully, here. And if we're very close to them, at most they'll teleport and slap us, which we don't care about. Yeah, you can see that enemy tried to punish me, but I punished him in return. So as I said before, you don't technically need certain weapons. You need it more in solo play, for sure. But just showcasing, there's a lot more counterplay than people admit for Ranger. Especially if you're playing with a group. Nice level up. Nice freeze. Photon Crystal. Exactly what I want to see. So XP right now, 133. I think that's fine. Again, this is just like fine XP for RBR. Considering it's not XP up. Ooh, this is a dangerous wave. This is potentially super bad for us, actually. I'm trying to use bringers to kill them real quick. I'm gonna use Heaven Strikers just to delete these. So you have 131% chance of landing special. I think I would need maybe about another 20 or so. I don't know which way is the real way, I'm just seeing what's up here. Ooh, that's going on for a while, that might be the real way. So is the other other way just items? Hmm. <laughs> well, we found Zoo, so we have two paths. Oh, unfortunately, they were all disorganized. Why is my auto target not working? Hello? There we go. I mean, if it went to even beat, which it should do it soon, by the way, we're at 190. Or, okay, now I can pew pew laser. There we go. <laughs> right, chat? Now I have my lizard option. It took a little bit of time, but now pew pew is here. Thank you, pew pew laser. You're my only hope. Pew pew. Ooh. Unfortunately, I got pew pew laser on this room, but that's fine. I'm gonna use the Dimate and buffer it and then run. Unfortunately, Heaven Striker does not damage these very quickly. If they're very low on health, it's not too bad. Alright, let's switch into Bringer's Rifle. Come on, there we go. Rafoe level 29, maybe. Eh. I think I got enough of those. What the heck is this? There's a. Oh, this was a time limit quest normally? Oh. Oh, definitely RBR only then. Yeah, I'm not doing this outside of RBR. I hate time limit quests, chat. I really do not like them at all. I don't mind it counting up and like for performance reasons, everything else. But I do absolutely do not want to do a time limit quest normally. But for RBR, this is fun. 
I'm glad it's disabled for RVR and we don't have to worry about timing out. It's my least favorite mechanic. It's like, oh, do you just arbitrarily not have enough gear? You lose due to time. Not due to, like, enemy clear or, like, clearing it with worse items successfully. Nope. Just put an arbitrary time limit, get wrecked. Okay, we landed demons there, that saves a lot of time. Land another demons here, hopefully. Missed. Landed double demons. Dead. Dead. Back to Heaven Striker. The nice thing about Pew Pew Laser is it doesn't trigger their teleport ability. And because Dango's a hunter and we're with the forest, these guys should basically never teleport anymore. So we lucked into like the perfect time. Because it was not planned for it to be even B. That's why I paused briefly just to double check. But we played long enough for this to be relevant, which is always exciting. If he hits Scepter, don't care about that. It showcases, like, the, the versatility of a Ranger. Where I can play Pew Pew Laser on Episode 4. I could play her Episode 2, play her Episode 1. So yeah, I can basically stunlock the room. Try to land some demons. That looked like a good demons. Yeah, most of these enemies I don't feel like charge arming, because they, they will teleport and that does mess with the other players. All this for a healing circle? I mean, that's not bad. I, as I said before, as RBR quests go, you know, we went a decent distance. I don't know if I would have used all my healing traps, or not healing traps, I wouldn't have used all my freeze traps by now. But if I was lower level, it's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna check the map. So we do have a door up there. So we have two doors to go through. So one of these is just optional for time. The other is the actual progress. So let's see where we go from here. We're going through another S room? Excuse me? Oh no. Oh, oh no, I'm getting bullied super hard. Help. Oh, they put the ranger in melee distance. This is so rude. Wow. Talk about not being where I want to be. Do not want to deal with this. Let me walk over here. Do not spawn behind me, please. Thank you. So yeah, the nice thing about Pew Pew Laser, it ignores walls. So if anything is between us and the target, it doesn't matter. I can't believe it is both fire paths. I don't see many quests that include both. Okay, we're gonna help Dango out a little, and then we're gonna help Murphy in a moment. Now I don't care if he teleports, we're just going to do Heaven Striker for more damage. Boop. Wait, how did I get a miss? I got a red miss on a ranger? Tomfoolery, Chad. That should never happen. Actual PSO shenanigans. Raw Moral with Red Ring Max ATA miss something on a normal. That shouldn't be possible. Oh dear, indeed. That's, that's actual shenanigans. Okay. <laughs> well, I see where it put us. On the plus side, I can hit the zoo and the Gerdabulu for big damage. Oh, man, the laser light show is messing them up. I mean, it's a very different use of things. I don't know if I love it or hate it. Oh, I love this room. This room I like. I want to see rooms like this. You know, decent size, you could get in good position. Oh, they even put chests in here? Oh, that's very kind of them. They don't have to do that to appease me. Th that's just extra credit. So again, the XP is okay. But also keep in mind we're down a party member. So if we're getting 120 with just three people, I think this is a perfectly fine quest. I guess I'll add this to the list as RBR only. I don't think I want to do the time limit quest as is. It's also not, like, the most efficient at a run. 
Ooh. Just stun lock the room here. All gouache, exactly. So yeah, once we're done with this remote battery, I'll do some quests with you. So if you decided what character you want to have, just some XP. Showcase a couple of quests to you. We'll probably do like Massive Attack B, Beyond the Horizon, maybe Sweep Up Operation. And that'll be it. Perfect mayhem! Oh, thank you, Toriel, for the raid. Hopefully you're doing well. Got the game over in Bummer Man, though, apparently. Yeah, I think if I can let the heavy attacks there, it's better. I'm not a fan of this room. I This is probably one of my least favorite rooms. Okay, let's find out. Is Red Crystal safe? Yes, Red Crystal is safety. I don't know if there's traps in this room, but I went by the Red Crystal, did not get hit. That's my only visual cue when I do certain quests, as to where to run to cross the pit without dying. Time to get some rest, says Toriel. Well, thank you for the raid. Hopefully your PSO adventures go well, and your stream also continues to do well. In the meantime, we're gonna try to shoot down these enemies. I'm wondering if I should switch to Vulcan for those enemies. I probably should. Nice freeze. See, I'm kind of abusing the fact that I can take advantage of Rivarda hiding in the corner while spamming Pew Pew Laser. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Oh, the rock! <laughs> that was so rude! <laughs> I, got, I got body chat. I got outplayed by the level. You got me. You got me. Hard punished. Does it follow players or is it RNG? If it's RNG, that is hilarious that that hit me. I'm not even mad. <laughs> it's like, I didn't see it coming. I did get rocked. Ooh, so much crowd control with Pew Pew Laser. See, this is... See, if, if Hewdoorl had a weapon like this, I would be very happy. Then you're just like, yeah, this is like a run-defining weapon. Heaven Striker used to its fullest capability on this character. Come on, demons. Oh, landed the demons. Nice. Um, This is awkward. I'm going to take damage. I don't think there's anything to do about this. Let's try to stunlock them with Pew Pew Laser. QP laser, locking them in. The way Dango can snipe them with mechs. Perfect. So we're at almost 144. Wait, this was just a side path? Wait. Wait. Oh no. Okay, so if we were to run this again, we need to telepipe whenever we come to a 50 50 split. I thought this was the right way because we went for so long. It didn't even occur to me. That this was just all optional. That's brutal. That's not even worth the two minutes, right? Oh wait, there's another door over here. Unless this is the real path. In which case, that's not too bad. I'm gonna go and debuff them before I take damage. Oh, look how little they do. With my Jelen, I'm almost immune to them. That's actually sad. This character doesn't even have virus armor, right? No, she's Brightness Circle, which is still good. But it could be more. Oh yeah, pew pew laser time, let's go. Go ahead, hit me backwards, it lets me hit the rubies here. Hmm, probably best to bring her its rifle here if I can land demons. Or not, just get trolled. That's also fine, I guess. Come on, demons. There we go. Yeah, if we can land that demons, it basically does like 3,000 plus damage, but only if demons lands. And that time I missed uh, four 75% four chances in a row. That was kind of super unfortunate on many levels. That is what is called bad luck. 
Is that 120, I think, percent? Cancelina and Gordon, De Gordon Detonator on final hit. I whiffed every single one. That was so sad. So it is long enough that we build up a Mag Blast, which is interesting. So potentially if we were playing like a all like mostly raw moral party, we could end up with super buffs. I'm only six meter away from getting it. This feels like a final room. If this is not the final room and this is like a time extension, I'm gonna lose my mind. There we go, not too bad. Oh, there's a zoo. That's unfortunate. Notice it a little too late on the mini-map. Oh, this music is popping off though, chat. True story. Now, this is looking like a fun final room. So these kinds of rooms are, are kind of my favorite way of like splitting the party. So like two people would go up, two people would go down. Depending on your clear speed, you end up looping around together and meeting in the middle. I really like that. That that's like one of the one of the things I do want to praise about episode four. I do like rooms like this specifically, where like you you are encouraged to play in multiplayer to deal with it. I don't think I'm in range. I had to drop that sadly. Kill that zoo. Another escape doll, maybe. So I'm assuming we have to go to the other side. Oh, that reaction! Did you feel that reaction, chat? Got it. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> I felt in my heart. Poor Dango, though. Yeah, if you hear Mad Blast, you might as well as donate. So now I got some super buffs. It means I should be doing insane damage with Charged Vulcan right now. Which I can land on the final hit every time. So 50 hit is definitely enough for this character. So for raw cast, I would need to be like 65 plus. Don't you shoot your little element at me. Get out of here. Demons, please. You've got to be kidding me. Through this shot. De Demons doesn't want to land. I don't know what to tell you. It's like baiting me with the shots. Getting actually trolled. Yeah, see, this is the new player killer in Ultimate. This, this is hard to deal with for new players. For me, I'm just like, oh, it's just, just a minor inconvenience. But fortunately, they are way slower on lower difficulties. They are like brain dead easy on very hard. They might as well not be enemies, to be honest with you, on the lower difficulties. They attack like a third as quickly. It's quite sad. Look at that, the warp is right here. Yeah, so that's a good RBR quest. It actually has a surprising number of Gurdabulus. I'm gonna make a note for this one. Episode four. Sweep up Operation 14. Make a sub note. Timer, if not RBR, TP at split choices. So maybe I'll make this into a Google Doc eventually, but for now, we'll just take some notes. I think that was fine. Took a little longer than expected, but I think, you know, I got a Photon Crystal. We got some chances at Vices. Sadly, no Yashminikovs, though. 